this week's video, I'm going to be doing a Laceus Niger care guide video as well as showing my Laceus Niger colony that has two workers now and I'll be attaching them to the AC test tube portal. Enjoy today's video. This footage here is of my Laceus Niger Queen a couple months ago when I made my video showing off all of my ants in my ant room. Now here she has only a few larvae and no workers at all. But when her first worker came, unlucky for me, it was actually Laceus Niger. Now here is my Laceus Niger colony today. She has two workers at the moment and a bunch of larvae. She has a few eggs and no pupa at the moment. I should be expecting a pretty big growth in population here soon. Laceus niger is one of the easiest species to keep out there. In my opinion, it actually is the easiest species to keep. Reason being that they can tolerate almost any sort of condition, whether it's too hot, too cold, uh, you don't water them enough, or if you don't feed them enough. Now, you should be providing them with optimal conditions anyway, only so that you can promote their growth and keep them healthy. Now, to better help you guys understand how to keep these ants and to make my video more fluid, I'm going to be breaking it up into parts, starting with the temperature. I would recommend keeping your Laceus niger colony at around 70 to 80 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, you can do this by putting a heating cable or a heating mat under or near part of the nest so that they can regulate to where they think that their brood should go. Now, be careful not to overheat your ants or underheat your ants. If you overheat them, they could die, and if you underheat them, then they won't grow as fast. The moisture level for Laceus niger is between 10 to 50%. I recommend that you do not keep the nest too wet or too dry so that they can have optimal living conditions and choose where they want to nest. Now let's talk about their diet. Like almost every other ant species out there, they need an abundance of sugar and protein in their diet. They need proteins to help the queen lay more eggs and to help the larva grow faster. Now sugars are an essential piece of the ant's diet. The workers need it so that they can keep up their daily activities that consist of finding prey and caring for the brood. Some proteins that you can feed them are superworms, mealworms, cockroaches, earthworms from the ground, and other things like that. You can find everything at your local pet store. The sugars that I find the ants like the most are honey and maple syrup. If you have not seen my 100 subscriber special, I get more into depth with that in that video. Now let's talk about hibernation. Generally, with all ants, you need to hibernate them from whenever it gets cold outside in your area to whenever it gets warm outside in your area. For me, it is around September to March. You can hibernate your ants by putting them in a wine cellar or a fridge or a basement. Now, just make sure it's not too cold for the ants, meaning that it has to be a bit warmer than it is actual outside temperature. By the way, the ants don't need any food during hibernation, but they do need to be watered regularly, just as if they were not being hibernated. Here are some other facts about Laceus niger. The worker length can be between 2 to 5 millimeters long. The queen's length can be between 7 to 10 millimeters long, and the male's length can be between 3.5 to 5 millimeters long. Laceus niger tend to nest in dirt and sand. They can also be found under stones or other objects that generate heat. Now let's talk about nuptial flights. Laceus niger like to have their nuptial flights between June and September. A nuptial flight is basically where queens and males come out of the mother nest and mate with other colonies so that they can start their own colonies and repeat the cycle. Laceus niger is a very aggressive and active species, but to us they are harmless and have no sting. 
thank you guys for watching this video. I really appreciate all the support you guys have been giving me recently, and at the time of this video, we are almost at 300 subscribers. Now, if there's anything you think I missed in this care guide, then definitely leave a comment in the comment section below. Again, thank you all for watching, and I will see all of you on Sunday. Peace.